Hello viewers and fellow colleagues from Ghana. Uh, this video is to guide you on how to apply for admissions in Canada with a scholarship, okay? Now, today I'm taking you to University of Regina, which is in Canada, okay? So uh, if I've completed your diploma degree or a certificate program or HND, and you would want to study in Canada with scholarships, then University of Regina is admitting student for, uh, I mean, to, I mean, apply for bachelor degree programs with scholarship, depending on the eligibility criteria, okay? So if you have a certificate or a diploma in uh, uh, in, uh, colleges like Nabita, Kintampo College of Health, Yamfo College of Health, and other uh, institutions that uh, you completed and you have a diploma, or certificate, okay? Uh, you can apply for uh, admissions in the University of Regina with scholarships, okay? So now if you have a certificate or a diploma already, you don't need to go to high school student, you have to uh, go to university or college transfer student, okay? Now, once you get there, you are an international student. So you go to international student, okay? Now, if you go here, these are the faculty of interest. I, I mean, depending on the diploma you have, if you have a diploma in uh, science programs, then you go to faculty of science. If you have a diploma in nursing, then you go to faculty of nursing, okay? You can also go to faculty of uh, kinesiology. Okay, so we can, for example, go to faculty of kinesiology, all right? You can check uh, the admission requirement. You select Ghana, okay? That is, uh, you need YEC, all right? Then post-secondary admissions. I mean, post-secondary admission is, uh, I mean, the college you attended is a post-secondary uh, school, right? So you go to post-secondary admission requirement. You have all the requirement you need, all right? I mean, you should have a, a GP of 60%, okay? In order to qualify for this program. There are additional uh, information for uh, uh, the, this particular faculty, okay? So you look at it, then you try to know the application deadlines. I mean, for the application deadlines, we have fall term, winter term, spring or summer term. Um, once you are in Ghana, uh, sometimes it's advisable to, when you're looking for uh, study programs, it's kind of advisable to go for the fall term, the fall term, because for the fall term, you actually have enough time to prepare yourself to get your visa or your resident permit to, to study in any other country. Okay, normally the people go for the spring term. I mean, the spring term, I mean, the time for you to prepare for your visa and other stuff sometimes can delay you. So it's always important to check the times that uh, the seasons or uh, the semester where you want to actually pursue your uh, your degree. Okay, so we can easily get back. Uh, then we can go to the Faculty of Nursing. Uh, and the Faculty of Nursing, uh, if you are from Ghana, as I mentioned, this video is purposely for Ghanaians. So you can go to Ghana, you need a YEC. You go to post-secondary admission requirement. Okay, so if you have a diploma in nursing, you can check whether you meet all these requirements, all right? I mean, you should have some kind of biology courses, chemistry courses, have some mathematics courses. I mean, have some English, I mean, as well. Then your GPA must be about 65%, okay? So if you meet all these requirements, then you are likely to be admitted into the Bachelor of Science program in nursing, and then you can look at the various scholarships available for you, okay? Now, let's look at this. Now, what is the definition of a transfer student? Now you can see that at the University of Regina, a transfer student is someone who has attended another post-secondary institution and who is, who is interested in applying to the University of Regina in the Western Canada. In some cases, transfer student did not complete an academic program from the prior university or college. In other cases, transfer student did complete a program such as a diploma program, okay? So if you have a certificate, Diploma, you belong to the, the, the trans, I mean, you are a transfer student applicant, so you have to take note of this. Now, let's scroll down and look at this. Are there tra transfer student scholarships? Okay, yes, 
you, there are transfer student scholarship, and then you can learn more about entrance scholarship for transfer students. So you have to click here to go and look at the various scholarships for you as a student from Nabita College, College of Health, the Tampo, and Nafo College of Health, all the institutions that offer diploma programs, okay? You can look at the entrance scholarships for transfer students. So let's quickly look at that, okay? Now, these are the types of scholarships. Okay, entrance scholarship. These are automatic entrance hours. Okay, all undergraduate students who apply for admissions for four are automatically considered for these scholarship based on your admission. No application is required. So, I mean, sometimes, I mean, it is automatic. Okay, so you look at it based on the requirement. There are so many scholarships here. Uh, you can look into, okay? All right. Some are for domestic students, others are for uh, international students, okay? So you can look at some of these uh, scholarships as well, based on the program you want to apply. Now, for those in, those students who did, uh, what do you call it? Diploma or certificate programs in health, uh, we can easily check for this. Okay, we can easily uh, check for an important thing here, okay? Now, let's look at this. Let's search for programs, health. Okay, now, we have health promotion. We have a bachelor degree in health promotion. So for those in College of Health and Young Four College of Health, I think you offer uh, diploma programs in uh, health promotion, okay? So if you want to study, your bachelor degree, you can choose University of Regina. You can get scholarship to 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 do your degree, okay, based on your GPA. So head promotion uh, is four to five years. You can also study diploma two years health studies. I mean, diploma two years probably for a certificate program uh, from these institutions in Ghana. Uh, you can apply for health studies. You can either get scholarship or not, depending on the eligibility requirement. You can study health studies. We have health studies with bachelor degree, okay, four to five years. And then we have even a certificate program, one to two years for health studies as well, okay? If you want to study human kinetics, we have it here. If you want to study physical education and physical literacy, if you want to study psychology, if you want to study sport and recreation management. So. I mean, depending on the qualification that you have, you can apply for some of these health programs. Uh, if you have diploma in medical laboratory, you, I mean, if you have if you have diploma in medical laboratory, you can study health studies, bachelor degree. If you have physician assistant, head promotion, uh, head information diploma in uh, nutrition, just look at the basic requirement. Okay, so let's. I mean, click on the bachelor degree in health studies. Okay, so we have the bachelor degree in health studies. All the information you need uh, is being stated here, all right? Health studies draws on both the social sciences and the natural sciences. It examines holistic well-being, which includes the mental, emotional, spiritual, psychological, and biological function of individuals, all right? So, uh, this is a bachelor of bachelor of science degree in health studies at the University of Free China. Okay. The reason you want to study this program is being stated here. All right. Now let's look at this. What clubs, campus events, and networking opportunities do health studies students participate in? So they participate in all these things stated here. The most important thing is uh, uh, do you do you offer scholarships? Okay, because some of you want to study at the University of Virginia, bachelor degree in health studies, and then you want to you know find out if there are scholarships. So you can go to do you offer scholarships. Yes, we offer the following scholarships to undergraduate students in kinesiology and health studies. Okay, so there's a scholarship for bachelor degree in health studies. These are the scholarships you want to find out about. Dr. Ralph Nelson Scholarship in Health Studies, Queen City Vending, Faculty of Kinesiology and Health Studies, Entrance Scholarship, Douglas and Margaret, a Scholarship in Kinesiology and Health Studies. Uh, 
Regina Medical Laboratories, okay, Regina Medical Laboratories Limited Entrance Scholarship. All right, so these are scholarships uh, to study. One, one thing you have to understand is the, the document or the requirement you need to upload during the application portal. But so let's look at the, the document you need to upload during the uh, application uh, processes, okay? All right, you need to submit. So how do you apply? You need to submit application form. Submit application for admission or readmission or faculty transfer. So you click on this. It will go to you to the application uh, procedure, uh, application uh, online portal, or you can send in a paper application form. Okay, but uh, one of the easiest is to you know show the form online. Okay, and then indicate your details. You have to pay an application fee of uh, hundred Canadian dollars. Okay, application fee of hundred Canadian dollars. This import, this document are supposed to be uploaded. Okay, if you mix any of the documents, your admission can be rejected. Okay, your high school transcripts, very important. Okay, just go for the high school transcript. Uh, you can you can you can go for the high school transcript uh, transcript uh, from the senior high school that you completed. So from the senior high school you completed, you completed a was prepare or uh, cars go to the school, ask of your uh, high school transcript. Okay. Then you can include that with your WASI certificate. Okay. Then you will need the college transcript. You will need your college transcript. So if it is Kentampo College of Belt, Nabita, uh, Yanfu College of Belt, whatever institution that you did your diploma or certificate, go for your transcript. So you have to upload all of that. Your, so your university transcript is needed, your university certificate needed. Then you write a statement of intent. Okay, a statement of intent actually uh, uh, provides an idea to the graduate selection committee or to the, to the admission committee. Your intention, I mean, what you intend to study and the motivation, uh, uh, you know, the motivation factors or the driving forces that are actually, you know, giving you the interest or providing you the interest to study the program. So you can get more examples of statement of intent on the on online or at the various websites. You can get it, read about it, and know how to draft your own. Okay. All right, so if you draft it, you can send it to me for me to review them for you. I can, I'll give my email at the description section of video. So you need references, okay? You need references, references from the, the college you completed. So you can speak to your teachers or your lecturers, okay, to provide you with reference letters. Uh, uh, then uh, depending on the program, a portfolio component may be required. Okay, so depending on the just go to the uh, the program you are choosing, then find out the specific document that I needed, and then we get more information on the uh, the scholarship uh, application procedure and other things as well. I'm going to share the link to the video at the description box. Now, one thing you have to understand is that for Ghanaians, IELTS. Therefore, there's no English language requirement. You don't need to go and sit for any English language test because the language of instruction or the medium of instruction in Ghana is in English. Every institution uh, teaches in English. I mean, most institution, I mean, almost all or most of them teaches, I mean, in English. And so far as your degree or diploma or certificate program was taught in English, you actually qualify to be exempted. So you don't need to submit any English language uh, certificate in this particular application. So this is University of Regina. Uh, my video was actually focusing on students that have diploma and then certificate programs from all the universities in Ghana, especially uh, College of Art, Kentampo, Yanfu College of Art, and all the other institutions. 
that upper diploma programs. And then all the nursing diploma programs as well, because if you have a diploma program, diploma degree program in uh, nursing at all the nursing training in Ghana, you can apply for Bachelor of Nursing, okay? Bachelor of Nursing, as I indicated in there. So thank you viewers for the video. For any comment or assistance, you can uh, give your comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there are more videos to come. If you want to study abroad, then I think this is the best channel for you to subscribe to. Ensure that you click on the notification bell to receive all insightful scholarship opportunity. Uh, uh, I mean, on this particular channel. Thank you for watching.